Future Cubs and future Cardinals continue their Midwest League rivalry tonight at Doser Park. The South Bend Cubs won the first three games as the Peoria Chiefs take the field tonight. And Jeremy Rivas got a little tip from those kids running on the field. Makes a nifty catch right here to prevent a run from scoring. But are really impressed by this Cubs prospect. Former second round pass, uh, second round draft pick, James Triantos. He had a couple hits. Beautiful execution here on the hit and run. Chiefs so South Bend scores two in the first. And they've won four in a row over the Chiefs. 5-1 South Bend. All right, to high school sports. Summer basketball season is all but over for top players. That means now is serious recruiting decision time. Normal community six foot ten big man Jaheim Weber had a terrific summer playing for the Ironman and AAU basketball. He has several Division I offers, but he admits he might be the big man in a big I-74 rivalry. Both Illinois State and Bradley are among his very top college choices. Yeah, they're up there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Illinois State and Bradley are still at the very top of your list. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah. Um, I really like I really like their programs. They're close to home. Uh, you know, both of them are they've been they've been on me pretty hard from the beginning. So, you know, it'd be hard to kind of just you know pass them two up. So they're they're at the top of my list. Peoria Notre Dame senior guard Maya Wardle is also in the process of finalizing her college basketball decision. In fact, we talked to the Peoria Notre Dame four-year standout just as she was heading out for her recruiting visits on Wednesday. Yeah, so I, I'm actually leaving for New York today, so I'm going to St. Bonaventure in New York. Um, I'll be ending up at SIUE, Gardner-Webb, Eastern Kentucky, so some of those schools. Is Bradley in the mix? Uh, Bradley... <laughs> You know, as much as I love the school so much, uh, my dad knows that he lo like he loves me no matter what. But I was just like, it's time to, for me to create my own path. Good luck to Maya and Jaheem and all our athletes finalizing their college plans. Who's hot? Not high school cross country runners. Tonight, the coolest cross country race you've ever seen. Uh, let's jam. Uh, This is Detweiler at dark. They expected 1,500 runners. They've got 135,000 watts of power putting electricity on that Detweiler course. They had over 600 high school girls competing. Uh, Morton, eighth grader Abe Martin right here, won the junior high boys race. He looks like a future star for the Potters. Natalie Beerbaum of Normal U High finished third of the high school girls race. They got racers from several states. An incredible night of fun. If you want to be cool, high school cross country trials are one week from Monday. Wow, that was fun. Hey, also a big Friday night of racing at Peoria Speedway. The Joe Baggett Memorial's prelude to the Nationals. The world's fastest quarter mile, they're calling it. The National TT race is coming up Sunday at Peoria Motorcycle Club.